All right, let's look at a function like this, where we have a rational function and we have a square root. And if we go ahead and look at the limit as x approaches infinity of this function, we're going to get infinity over infinity. Well, maybe infinity over negative infinity. But even so, it's going to be in indeterminate form, which makes us sad because we have to do more work. So what am I going to do first? Let's try to mess around with the denominator. And let's try to make that denominator not equal to infinity. How would I do that? Well, if I look at the denominator, I see the biggest, the largest number of the exponent is 4, x to the fourth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by that largest exponent. I'm going to divide or multiply by 1 over x to the fourth. And when I do that, I end up with negative 3 plus 1 over x cubed. Now I know if I'm taking the limit, if I take the limit of this and if I look at the negative 3, well that says negative 3, but the limit of 1 over x to the third, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that gets really darn close to 0. So that would make the denominator negative 3, which is a pretty happy number. So all right, let's go ahead and see if doing that fixes not only our denominator, but also our numerator. So of course, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x to the fourth. We've got to be fair. And because what's in the numerator is under a square root sign, I'm going to rewrite 1 over x to the fourth as 1 over the square root of x to the eighth. It's the exact same thing, but now I can combine those square roots together in the numerator. And then I get in the numerator square root of 2x to the eighth divided by x to the eighth plus 3 over x to the eighth. And we already figured out our denominator would be negative 3 plus 1 over x to the third. All right, now let's take the limit. The limit is x approaches infinity. Well, 2x to the eighth divided by x to the eighth, that just is the number 2. But then 3 divided by x to the eighth, again, just like the 1 over x to the third, that goes to 0 as we let x get bigger and bigger and bigger. So when we're done with this, we're ending up with simply negative square root of 2 over 3. And we notice that that's the same value whether we take x to negative infinity or positive infinity because those fractions, the 3 over x to the eighth and the 1 over x to the third, they both go to 0. Let's go ahead and check our work with graphing. So if I graph square root of 2 x to the 8th plus 3 divided by negative 3 x to the 4th plus x, and it does look like it goes to a negative value as x goes to positive and negative infinity. My answer that I had gotten was negative square root of 2 over 3. And when I graph that, I find, in fact, that is the limit. So this is a great way to be able to check your work.